नमस्ते सीजन टीवी हेर बसिन भएका सम्पूर्ण दर्शकलाई स्वागत छ म कार्यक्रम प्रस्तुता कृति सिग्देल आज हामीले सीजन टीवी मा केही फरक अनुहार लिएर प्रस्तुत भएका छौ हामी सँग हुनुहुन्छ हाम्रो मित्र राष्ट्र बांग्लादेश बाट नेपाल पाल्नु भएकी सलमा अहमद 24th एशियन फेडरेशन अन इन्टेलेक्चुअल डिसेबिलिटीज कन्फरेन्स 2019 को लागि वहाँ नेपाल आउनु भएको छ लेट्स वेलकम हर अन आवर शो हेलो सलमा नमस्ते नमस्ते हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन आल्सो ओके सो वेलकम टु द शो एन्ड आल्सो वेलकम टु नेपाल थ्यांक यू भेरी मच ओके सो हाउ लंग हैव यू बीन हियर आई अराइव्ड 1 दिसम्बर एन्ड स्टिल आई एम हियर एन्ड आई लिव नेपाल 11 दिसम्बर ओके सो व्हाट इज द कन्फरेन्स अबाउट It's about Asian Federation on Intellectual Disabilities. It's uh, about disabled people. In 2017, Bangladesh presided over the program, yeah. and now uh, Nepal uh, organized the uh, conference. Actually, what role are you playing in this conference? Last time I presented country paper from Bangladesh, and this time uh, I did the same. And I would like to do disabled people uh, with the voluntary work. I don't uh, want any money from uh, that uh, people or organization. And around 15 years, I did work with the disabled peoples in Bangladesh. Okay. So can you please tell our viewers about your profession? What you do? Hello audience, it's me Salma Ahmed, Assistant Professor of Journalism and Media Studies Department, Jahanginagar University, Bangladesh. I started my journalism whenever I was student of second year in university and after that I started uh, crime journalism in Bangladesh and after that I am starting uh, in teaching profession as well as. Okay. So what is that crime journalism about? Uh, when I started crime uh, journalism in uh, Bangladesh, uh, the channel's uh, name is Bangla Vision. I started uh, uh, crime journalism in 2007 and six years uh, I did uh, investigative crime journalism in Bangladesh and it's my pleasure to uh, say uh, me was the first lady who did research and script writing in Bangladesh about crime journalism. Okay. So being a woman, was it difficult for this profession as a crime journalist? Uh, one truth I, I, would, I would like to share with yeah. you. Um, me, myself, always think uh, as a human being. Okay. So that's why I don't uh, ever think uh, girls uh, is different to do crime journalism than uh, male. So uh, it's a tough, uh, crime journalism is a tough cause uh, truth uh, should be present. That's why journalism is a necessary investigation. That's why it's uh, too tough for me. Okay, so have you ever faced any kind of problems or were you unsecure while doing so? I didn't feel uh, any uh, insecurity, but criminal, uh, uh, felt insecurity by my research and script. Okay. So why did you choose this profession? From uh, first, whenever I was a student of second year, 2001, okay. I was started my uh, career with sports journalism. It's a different uh, area for a girl. You actually asked why uh, yeah. you are choosing this. After that, uh, I felt uh, investigation should be necessary in journalism. Yulo journalism captured our soul, our media. That's why I started uh, crime journalism in Bangladesh and I would like to investigate the fact actually. And then I uh, love to uh, tell people that was happened, that was the scenario. Okay, so how did you find the people of Nepal? In uh, which area? In Kathmandu. Uh, so nice, so beautiful. That's why this is my second time in Nepal. First time I came at March 2019 and this is my uh, second time here. And you people are so cool, so familiar, so lovely to me. Okay, so the place that you love the most in Nepal? Pokhara. 
Pokhra. Last time when I uh, went to Pokhra uh, and uh, came again Kathmandu, I feel pain for the Pokhra because of the uh, nature, because of the coolness of the human being. Uh, it was too nice. Okay. It was too nice. And the lakes there are very beautiful, right? Yes, too nice. Too nice. Hill are nice. People are nice. All are cool. Uh, that's why I feel uh, for Pokhra still now. Okay. So, do you know any of the journalists from Nepal? Yes, uh, I know all of the photojournalists of Nepal uh, here because in 2017, NFPGA, National Forum of Photojournalists Nepal, went to our university uh, to visit our department. That time, I made a friendship with all of the photojournalists of Nepal and because of their invitation, I came uh, in March uh, to present a paper. That's why uh, photojournalists, all of my friends actually. Okay, so how do you manage your personal life and professional life? As I got to know that you are really busy in your work, so how will you manage your time in that? Uh, I managed uh, myself from my childhood because of my parents. They always learn uh, my family members, you should have to do proper way, uh, uh, sector, have to divide it uh, one by one, then you can start. Uh, that's why uh, never ever I feel uh, there is one, there is two, there is three, how can I do? Never ever I f uh, feel uh, that way. That's why I salute my parents actually. They made me uh, this Salma actually. But still, how do you manage the time? Uh, manage uh, should be uh, helped by my family. That's why I can run on. Okay, so you visit uh, different countries often? Uh, not now. Uh, this year I uh, got an international uh, uh, award for uh, photography. Season Media organized the program and they awarded me in Malaysia. Uh, this year I already went to Malaysia to got the okay. award actually. Okay. Oh, big congratulations for that. Thank you. So why do you like to do photography? Because uh, it's too tough to talk with photography. If you write it down any report, it's easy to express yourself. But whenever you use your camera, your lens, to talk with the audience, it's too tough. It's my feeling, that's why uh, whenever I was a student of journalism uh, in Dhaka University, I love uh, to do photography and my major is in photojournalism. After that, I did two photo exhibitions in Bangladesh. Okay, so what was that exhibition about? One was uh, about the life and work on our first female uh, photojournalist, Nurjan Begum, and another one is work and life about our film director and actor Shubhash Dotto. Okay, so what was that exhibition? Was it truthful? Yes, it is uh, too truthful because I uh, love to work with a live person. Uh, I want to respect and re uh, reward the person who uh, actually alive. Okay, after okay. that uh, we just uh, tell this is and this is uh, the best person in his or her work. I don't believe it. I have to love uh, to uh, respect them when uh, the people is alive. That's why I uh, did the exhibition uh, of them. Okay, so I got to know that you have worked nine years in television. Television channel, yeah, right. Yeah, then how was those days? That was too nice because I started my uh, journalism life uh, from my second year when okay. was I was a student. I have a lot of feeling to jump and try to touch my uh, limit, sky is my limit. And after that I in turn uh, did in my our national television channel BTV. After that when I was in fourth year, honors final year students, I started a news presentation okay. actually and with the help of my good teacher always promoted me to do. You can, you have the power, you can jump and you can touch your uh, limit. Yeah. And after that uh, I joined in a private television channel and I did uh, investigative crime program 
uh, there. Yeah. So are you still doing that TV channel work? No, not uh, that time. Uh, I have uh, lots of appointment with my students, my department. Uh, that time, to, uh, that time, I just uh, con uh, concentrate on my students and my research and my works. Okay, so you have also worked as a brand manager in NCC Bank. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, about five years, I did work uh, in brand manager. Uh, NCC Bank and I loved that work actually because I believe without brand no teacher can be uh, the uh, powerful or influential uh, to their students life. Okay. That work helped me to uh, present myself uh, towards my students because students are my audience. Okay. So why did you left all those jobs? Not all those uh, jobs. After finishing my master's, uh, I uh, started my first job in a private university. After four years, around the four years, I uh, worked together in a private television channel. And that uh, private uh, university activities I don't uh, love to because me, the uh, public university student, that's why uh, I left the job and went to do. Uh, brand manager and after that I got the opportunity to be the public university teacher and then I will jump again. Okay, so you left because you are working as a private uh, university teacher? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what was the difference between private university and public university? Okay, in Bangladesh, uh, private university campus and uh, Public university campus, there are uh, differences in a campus. Public university have a big campus, private university is not. As if I was a student of a public university, I love to wa work in a big place actually. That's, yeah. uh, that's the uh, difference. That's the only reason? Only reason. Okay. Nothing serious. Okay. So uh, you are here in Nepal. Mm -hmm. What are the similarities and difference that you found between Nepali and Bangladeshi people? If I uh, say truth, I don't get any differences between Nepal and Bangladesh. Okay, why so? Because uh, when uh, Nepal went Bangladesh and I came here, okay. both act like a family actually. That's why I uh, feel Nepalese looks like Bangladesh and Bangladesh feel Nepalese looks like Bangladesh. Both are similar to me. Okay. Do the people of Bangladesh love Nepali? Yes. If not, I have not uh, here in a two time uh, same year. Yeah. In Nepal, the foods are very famous here. Mm -hmm. What you love the most? Did you try Dal any bhat. new? Okay, Dal Dal bhat. Bhat. And Momo. Okay, momo. yeah, I was going to talk that only because in here uh, it's like Momo is in our heart. Yes, and uh, if uh, you people uh, truly and smartly present you Nepal outside of the country, you will be the boss. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much for that. So what actually disabled people want? Disabled people want only our care and love. Except then they don't want any more money, anything else. If you touch them, they just feel inside of them. I, I observed around 15 years. So when you started that 15 years then and now, what was the society's ideology? It's changing. Once upon a time, uh, we are not uh, very much close to the disabled people. We are just hate them, we just uh, call them as mad. They are not mad. We have no right to say them mad. They have the same rights like Us, you and me. Yeah. Nowadays, as society uh, feel realization, we should have to respect, we should have to care, we should have to give all of the human rights to them. Uh, society is changing. That's why the conference is going on and uh, lots of people are uh, all together uh, came in the conference and um, made a strong network for their uh, improvement. Okay, so how do you think this conference will help them? Because uh, conference uh, 
is a network. Yeah. In a network, lots of countries are involved and lots of ideology, lots of uh, thinking we actually got in one time. Okay. We can share each other, uh, how can Bangladesh, how can Nepal, how can Philippines. Then we write it down and uh, we can share each other. Okay. Uh, how many countries are involved in this conference? Uh, this uh, conference, uh, 10 countries uh, included and uh, more than uh, 40 participants are there in the conference. Okay. How is the government of Bangladesh and the government of Nepal helping in that? Our country, uh, our government uh, is uh, too much friendly with the disabled people because our Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's daughter, Saima, is doing work with the autism people and uh, we love to call our Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina uh, disabled people's friend. Okay. Then how is Nepal's government helping on that? Nepal's uh, conference, uh, on the time of conference, uh, 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 your president uh, uh, came to open the program and your foreign minister uh, came to close the program and I observed all of your uh, government uh, are trying to help uh, the disabled people. Uh, so this is a good sign. This is a good sign. How do you think we can motivate the youth to be involved in this kind of activities? First of all, I believe uh, we should have to start uh, these works in family first, then school, then college. Otherwise, it can help us. Never ever. Family can motivate the person, respect the disabled people. Then when you go to school, you speak uh, to your friends. You should have to respect your uh, disabled uh, person in the society. Teachers should have to talk like that to you. Then it will change. Okay. What do those disabled people mm -hmm. uh, want from the society or the people of the society? They just need love and care. Okay. Whenever you touch them, you feel inside of you. Oof, there is a love. Okay. So. Uh, why are you being involved in this kind of activities? Because my younger brother is a mentally retarded okay. baby. That's why uh, I involved uh, with my family and I saw their pain and saw their emotions and I felt uh, that time nobody actually uh, feel them as a person. They uh, feel them as a mad. They are not mad. They are disabled. Okay. Maybe you and me, but the, me the disabled. Yeah, someday we can be like, it's an uncertain thing. Mm -hmm. so in journalism, mm -hmm. uh, you, you asked me why you are in a crime journalism. It's okay. a disabled thinking. Because society helps us to think female should not do be this involved. work. Yeah. It's also a disabled thinking. Okay. I, I, I feel so. so uh, you started your journalism field uh, by doing sports journalism. Yes. Then the society thinks that sports is only not for the, to the male, yes. not for the female. Yes, yes. Then how did you do that? Because from my childhood, uh, in school's level, uh, I was the school champion in sports. Okay. And I did uh, to play uh, as a handball player and I got lots of award from sports actually. That's why sports in my blood. Okay. After that, when I uh, came to study in journalism, I felt as if I was a sports uh, woman, so why not I should study in uh, sports journalism? It helps me and it's truly helped me to expose uh, me uh, to, towards the audience. Okay, so do you love sports now yes. also? Yes, some okay. camps uh, still running on Nepal. Yeah. And lots of uh, uh, Bangladeshi people came here, Bangladeshi journalists came here and I meet with them I, 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 and I feel uh, as a family in Nepal actually. Okay, I've gone through your Facebook also mm -hmm. and I have seen lots of photos there. You have clicked photos on the streets also. Yes. So how fond are you with those photography? Because I believe uh, with the photo you can expose your memories and I, okay. I, I would like to believe and all time 
uh, told my students click and post click okay. and post because it's a news actually what you but, are doing now but why on the roads street photography uh, one of my favorite area because in street you uh, got lots of life actually if you look uh, with your lens you uh, will got lots of things is going on in the same time just check it okay i've seen it okay. <laughs> you 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 should have to take a camera and go and straight and yeah. film my uh, words okay so how did you find the journalist over nepal how did you find the work have you uh, seen any actually uh, i know all of the photo journalists here uh, one is my friend uh, razan kafle already started his career with the prime minister wings and uh, i feel nice because uh, in photo journalism there is a uh, promotion there is a life mm -hmm. in bangladesh uh, some people uh, thought uh, with the photo journalism me and you can't do any career but it's changed nowadays in bangladesh and nepal as you are a teacher what message do you want to convey to the youths of the world? Actually, I want to uh, share my feeling uh, with all students all over the world because once upon a time, I was the students. I know uh, what actually students uh, uh, received in his or her mind. First, I would like to request all of the students all over the world, please respect yourself and respect others then you can easily get respect by others except this you never be the uh, big person in your life uh, and remember sky is your limit and try to touch it with respect and love thank you okay so it was really nice talking with you and thank you so much for being on our show thank you thank you very much you are too lovely i feel love to talk with you actually thank you thank you season media for inviting me on your education and beauty show if audience you love to see the video again just subscribe the channel and share thank you